Hello everyone, my name is Visual Pond, and welcome to episode 3 of West of Loathing. Now, end of last episode, we got out west, and I brought the dock along with me, along with my dark horse. What, uh, what adventures await us today? I have no idea, but, um, I'm gonna stupid walk my way. Uh, looks like this is the Jewel Saloon, so let's, what did I say in the... Beginning of episode one. Hello, Spittoon. I'll investigate that in a minute. What I say in the beginning of episode one? That is that the best place to get all your information is a bar. And the doc seems to think so too, because she's in here quickly. Alright. Nice mustachioed man here. Hell well, howdy there. It's always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Bobcat. Glad to know you, Bobcat. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Um, let's see here. What do I got? Well, let's start with a shot of bird. Hmm. I saw a sign out front advertising a room. That's right. Finest room in the house. And plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance, right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Gratis. Wow, thanks. Alright, what's the doc saying up here? If we're going to look at this necromancer figure, we ought to start with the local cemeteries. Makes sense? Do you know where they are? Yeah, I did some research in the territory cemeteries a while back. Territory cemeteries, territory cemeteries. If you see them, if, to see if there was a pattern. You okay? Ah, sorry. Anyone, there's one not too far from here. Okay, the Dave Yard. What do you think we should do next? Well, if you're looking to find out Leyland, I guess Railroad Crew would be able to give you a fairly literal interpretation. Any other ideas? If you're looking at it, low ideas for, okay. Um, what are these? These lads are brawling in their sleep. These ladies are engrossed in conversation. What do we got here? Look like she's in the mood to talk. Old man stares and listens to the piano. He doesn't react to you at all. Spirited discussion. Slop? I, I don't want slop. Um. How come they're allowed to drink without hats on? It's on stage. Smacking that cow. Oh, hey, hey. I'm not done in here. There's a, there's a chair. Aw, oh, yeah. Doing my good works. The kitchen. Alright. There we go. Hey, what are you doing in here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type, eh? Well, I prefer adventurism. As it happens, there's something you could do for me. I'm out of saltpeter, and I need someone to go pick me up some more. Saltpeter? Is that used for to make gunpowder and other things? Look, who's the chef here, me or you? All right, all right. Where can I go find it? Best bet's a military camp, because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. Nearest one is Fort Cowardice. Keep it in little, they'll keep it in little green jars. All right, to Fort Cowardice, I guess. Mm-hmm. Anything around here? Wait, what did that say? It's where Chef preps ingredients for his cooking. It's also where he parks his beer. Yep. Um, poker room. There's a rule sign. Suicide queens are wild unless accompanied by a pair of five spades. Uh. Play poker. No room at this table. Table's full. Alright, let's play a hand of poker. Annie up. Hand of cards got a pretty decent hand. Three tray of clubs and two trays. The first round, the pot is 60 meat. You estimate your chance of winning around 30%. Cleverly strategize. 
The dealer gives the deck a shuffle. Da, da, da. Oh, you adjust the strategy based on what you know about your opponent's hands. 20% win chance. Um, second round of betting, pot is 60 meat, and you estimate your chances are about 50%. I'll check. Last round of betting, time to do or die. The pot is 60 meat, and you estimate your chances. Glamorously raise. Force your opponents to read them and weep. A Montana straight. Hedy grins and reveals her hand. A straight. A Gil flips his cards one at a time, revealing a full house. You win. Gather your haul. Deal announces the ante has been raised to 25. I'm good. But that was fun. Um, well, far be it for me to, to pass by a spittoon unbothered. This is a spittoon, which is sort of brass bucket to people spit into and spit spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. Despite with knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Look, the jewel saloon is a pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside it isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Here we go again. All right, fine. You're now hunkered down next to a brass-filled bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. That's good, right? No, that's bad because it's only, it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. Excuse me. <laughs> This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth. Distilled and concentrated until its consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore. Because they'll bounce out. What's wrong with me? Gotta search this. <laughs> You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something. Color and viscosity of maple syrup. Except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah. Glorp. Feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Ugh. Except that instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. You found something. Found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children. Assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> ah, spittoons are the best. Well, they're not really the best. This item goes... I'll still take it. Offhand, I guess. Ah, there it goes. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go help the doc with the necromancers first, I think. Let's look around town. All right. Dirt water post office. Okay. Jail. Lot available. Lot available. Lot available. Lot available. Lot available. Not a lot available past this point. Stupid walk back into town. Check out the jail. Hey. Hey, buddy. No, we don't have a sheriff. I'll be sheriff. You don't have a law Eh, uh, not really. Nope. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Even, do you even live here? I, mm, no. That's what tarnation makes you think you'd be qualified to be sheriff. I just assumed. You just assumed that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day. Why do you put it that way? If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist looking kid who wanders in here thinking they're the most important tenderfoot ever to strap on iron, I would need this dead-end clerking job. I'm sorry. It's okay. Like I said, it happens all the time. What do you need? Help until you find a new sheriff. Sure, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there. Cells over yonder. Alright. Cells are over here. 
Empty cell, empty cell. Good lord, this is a... A ghostly empty cell. I approve. Alright. Oh, oh, this is too funny. A stripey hat gang. Last scene of City Canyon. Sure. The house in Desert Gang. The mortgage non-payment squatting general public nuisance. Last scene, the house in the desert. And named after them, they're named after... You wonder if the house is named after them or if they are named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go for them? Sure. All right. What's this kid with the... I'll buy some flowers. Aren't I a nice feller? There's the post office. Uh, any mail for me? Nope. Telegraph. Telegraph. Uh, to the mercantile. Oh, dear. This guy's better than the... Uh... Yeah. Uh, I'll take some advanced... Bean craft. I have a shovel. Um, I don't know what a lot of this does. Uh, sure. Uh, huh. I'm gonna sell some of my stuff because I don't really need it. I'm I'm not sure what all I can get rid of quite yet, but I'm going to read some advanced bean craft. Oh, uh, let's see. Article about butter beans. Juxtaposition gives you an idea. It gives butter bean a spell that reduces opponent's muscle and skin max. Okay. Uh, wall-shaped pile of beans that looks. There's a recipe for a wall-shaped pile of beans that looks pretty interesting. A spell that will create a wall of beans that provides cover. There's a chat about cooking bean dishes so small they have served intravenously. Includes blood beans, a skill that lets you regenerate health during combat. I guess I can only learn one. Hmm. Let's heal. Unfortunately, you get distracted your newfound vigor, but that you misplaced the book. Alright. Alright. I think I have enough time to go check out this. Uh, let's. Oh, there is stuff all over the place. Is there desolate, lonesome coast? Let's let's do one of the. I don't know if I want to do the the Dave Yard. I could wander as well. Now let's go to the desert house. Come on, Corpse Cowboy. How do you know it's Corpse Cowboy? Well, you see his outfit. He is a cowboy. You see his lack of flesh that he is a corpse. Um. Least I can do. I'm running honorable this time. You dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up. You hear a voice saying, What was that? Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want a full on fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, Sneaky's in my middle name. Come on, narrator. <laughs> Ow. Alright, I'm going to avoid this for now because um, I don't want an all-out fight. So, back to my original plan of going into the Dave Yard. Uh, Spielberg Cactus, I, apparently I need foraging for a lot of things. Oh! My oh my. Tied with his boots on, but not his pants. I'll take his boots. I got the boots. Um, remains look pretty restless. Let's put him down for good. Got the jump on him this time. I'm just gonna. Thirteen. And the dot. Oh my. Ouch. Wait. Did he just... He did. Shank. Got skull chips. 
All right, here lies Dave C. Went down in the theater. All right. 23 HP. We know Lava Fava does some good stuff now. 11 HP. And nobody needs healing yet, Doc. Ow. Oh, I guess I could have followed him again. What did she use to heal me? Hey, I got another gold tooth. What's this gravestone say? Here lies Dave J. Here lies Dave L. Died of heart attack. See you in negative 36 years. Oh boy, free lunch. Thermos of spiked coffee. Now that's what I'm talking about. Alright. We're going to cast a spell. Ooh. Spooky. got in here oh nothing yet skull with an odd tag on it all right into the mausoleum real quick nothing there what about over here nothing in that jar well no guts no glory the big fight Um, and I will beat you. And we're gonna lava fava. I probably Dave McCree, Wizard and Scott. Let's get rid of the wizard. That's what I thought. Her shotgun with a. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Bag at me. Ouch. This is going to get close. Doc has to heal me again. I'm glad I put up a bean shield. I'm still going to die. No, I'm not. Alright, that's 21. Get out of here. Heal me, Doc. Man, I'm glad I brought the Doc along. Lots of skeletal bones. Alice picks up bone exams. Her lies light up. Ever she's an epiphany of some kind. Alice becomes stronger. Way to go. Oh. Clear. Big stone sarcophagus. We got a gore. Digs are human ashes or some kind of receipt. Robe receipt. Cool. Um. Alright. Well, let's take a quick look at me. How much XP do I have? Current XP 7. Alright, um Lava Fava needs some some love. What's that Fox do again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Let's get some muscle. Got enough to raise my mysticality. I still have 20 XP apparently. 
So let's. Add some HP. Cool. All right. Well, if we're going to hunt down Necromancer, it looks like the good place. Oh, I should have talked to her probably before I went in there. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Thanks for the reminder. All right. I think. This is a good place to end the episode today. I hope y'all are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing this series. So, if you are enjoying the series, please leave a like down below. If you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. That will let you know whenever I'm coming out with new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter and see what I ramble on about there. And the link to that will be down in the description below. This was a lot of fun today. I can't wait to play next week. I hope you come back and join me for it, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.